Hey everybody, and the very, very happy start to your Monday morning. I'm hoping everybody is having a great day so far. Had a great weekend as we go into this new week. A lot of us here in the United States are off today. Um, holiday, Memorial Day. I'm hoping everybody gets out there and uh, pays the respects due to those, all those who have given uh, all for our freedom today. And uh, also, it kind of broadens a little bit, just in remembrance of all those who, was, who have passed and just, again, paying our respects to, uh, to them as well. Um, I'm on my porch right now, so I'm kind of being a little bit quiet. Um, also, my neighbors, although my, my neighbors might call the police out here or something like that, so i got to be careful getting too loud out here. Normally, I'm, I'm in my house or in a park that I can just kind of uh, be myself, relax a little bit, and, and get all in... And, energized and enthused um, like I generally am to be honest with you but um, uh, one I just want to um, I want to well, there's a few things I just got back from a seven mile run right now it was really really nice out there perfect got started a little later than um, I normally do because I, I was continuing to read this book here i um, been working a lot so, uh, so I just kind of get bits and pieces but I'm enjoying it so far I think I'm only in chapter four or five uh, Let Your Mind Run by the amazing Dina Castor. Um, has a great mindset. And she's the actually the uh, American female American record holder in the marathon. I think it's 219. Maybe some change on that. She's an amazing woman. Um, she's one of the coaches for the Mammoth Track Club. Mammoth Lakes, California. I think it's at like 8,000, 8,500 feet elevation. Uh, it's been around for a long time. They've trained some crazy cool Olympians. She's also an Olympian, but trained many, many other Olympians and aspiring Olympian professional runners. Daniel Tapia is up there currently right now, and many, many others. So if you, uh, if you haven't heard of them, look them up. Mammoth Track Club, Dina Castor, of course, and her husband. Anywho, um, I had a great weekend. Um, great start to the week so far. And I know everybody's out there doing marathons and half marathons. We had yesterday the um, the Mountain to Beach Marathon, which is one of my favorite here in California. It's in the uh, Southern California uh, part of the state. And it is, again, one of my favorite marathons of all time. It's a gorgeous, well-organized um, marathon. I think the last six miles, pretty much you run along the beach. Uh, the Pacific Ocean is to your right as you're running south um, along the trail, the uh, Pacific Coast highway they call it the wall the pch anyways so congratulations to all of them that ran down there uh, we got uh, eric uh, Contreras. we had uh, uh, veronica paredes um we had joyce her brother uh also ran down there and many many others um up north i think yesterday we had the is it the boston it's like a half marathon i forget exactly what it's called but it's up in Boston. We have uh, Laura Kaufman run up that way. Um, so just people are just enjoying their health, enjoying their fitness, enjoying basically life. Um, so I'm just really cool to kind of see them uh, uh, doing what they're passionate, you know, enjoying what they're passionate about. And that's life in general, but kind of comes out through running. So it's really, really cool to see and being a part of that. And if it's nothing else, by Instagram, by video, by YouTube, by other uh, Facebook, by other social media uh, type of platform. So, also I want to pay uh, my respects to a uh, co-worker who tragically passed a couple days ago. Um, very, very unfortunate situation, just tragic, tragic, but um, uh, you know, just never forget those, um, if, if you know anybody that's going through a tough time, just really love on them today. Um, let this be the day. Uh, don't wait till tomorrow. Give them a call. Tell them you appreciate them. Uh, love on them today. Your family, friends, your co-workers, your neighbors. Give somebody a smile in the store. Make somebody's day. Especially, I know I'm preaching to the choir here and with a lot of runners and a lot of fitness people that kind of follow my videos, whether by YouTube or my uh, Facebook account, the fan page account, or by Instagram, even my Twitter. But... Um, so I know I'm preaching to the choir that people that are watching this kind of feel the same way, uh, hence the reason they watch, and I watch you guys as well. But uh, those who are, are not familiar with it, it uh, with this type of mindset, really, it's really your inner self, your mindset, your emotions, everything kind of goes hand in hand, and it's actually a strategic um, uh, plan to life. And remember, you say they always say if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. 
So as we go into this, uh, we're in this day, Memorial Day, and, and actually in the middle of the year, so or right now, going into June here in a few days, um, this, this next weekend, really make a change. If you haven't already, make that change to uh, in that commitment to love on people, to appreciate people, to tell them how much you appreciate them. And it's very, very important. So again, my uh, thoughts and prayers go out to my, I don't want to say his name, but it's my co-workers um, for many, many years, by the way, his family, um, and all, also all my co-workers that are actually going through it right now, uh, being that this, this tragic passing of a co-worker, a friend, a brother in, brother in blue. So um, anyways, um, with that said, um, because again, this is Memorial Day. This is what I'm doing. We're not trying to put it down on everybody, but I just want everybody to really, um, really take it up a notch in uh, their quest to make somebody's day, make somebody's week, their month, their year. So, also, got some great things coming up. Uh, this weekend is the San Diego Half Marathon. It's going to be a. I mean, I wish I could be there. I have a friend coming in. Actually, he came in from out of the country. He's coming in from Minnesota. And he's going to be visiting with me uh, this Friday. So I'm looking forward to seeing him. Uh, but if he hadn't come, I would be in San Diego this coming weekend. Is the San Diego Rock and Roll Half Marathon. It's going to be cool. It's a big, big deal, guys. There's, I don't know how many, probably 25,000 people probably out there. Uh, a few things. You got Daniel Tapia going to be racing there. My boy Daniel. My boy Fernando Cabada will be coming in from... Uh, uh, well, Daniel's coming down from Mammoth, going down to San Diego. Uh, Fernando's coming in from Colorado. Uh, we got uh, uh, we got uh, Desiree Linden, Desiree, formerly Desiree Davila Linden, Desiree Linden, uh, the, uh, the Boston Marathon winner, 2018. I think she's going to be pacing that one, the half marathon. How cool! She's going to be pacing. How cool is that? I don't know what she's pacing, but it's going to be a lot of fun seeing her out there. And you got. Josh Cox out there. You got a lot of people going to be down there, and of course, it's 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 a race, guys. So one people to enjoy themselves in this great great race, the Rock and Roll Series, but also to see these cool, world uh, renowned elite athletes giving it their all and having fun and one pacing Desiree, uh, Des Desi they call her. Uh, pacing. How cool is that to be running while she's pacing you with a sign or with the same. Pacer, right? So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's this weekend. I, I would be down there. I wish I could be down there, but I'm going to enjoy my buddy coming in uh, this weekend. And uh, so a lot of great things coming up, guys. Um, keep an eye on the videos. I haven't done a video probably in over a week on, on, on YouTube, although I post all the time on my Instagram, uh, The Motivational Runner on Instagram. So you can look me up there. If you haven't found me, look me up. It's blowing up, by the way. And uh, But I just wanted to really take time to... Um, to uh, give tribute to all, all my family and friends and my loved ones and neighbors and my city and uh, paying respects to all. I'm being redundant here, but I just can't help it because it is Memorial Day. It is a special day here in the United States. And, and for those of you around the world, you guys all have a great day today. Have a great week. Take your life up. Take control, guys, with some cardio and fitness. It'll help with mental health, your emotional health, of course, your physical health, guys. And it'll help you just, it'll really just assist and boost you up in enjoying all life has to offer. And um, so it'll just get you better prepared for life in general. Um, remember Winston Churchill said, uh, success in life is to be able to go, be go, to go through failure to failure and never losing your enthusiasm for life. Uh, you know, that's a kind of a negative way to look at it. Uh, I just look at life in general will be life in general. Um, there's degrees, of course, through events in life. But the one thing is to be better prepared to, for life. So if the sun is, it's going to be a warm day today. What would you do? You want to maybe put some sunblock on? You want to get prepared, right? Put some sunblock on, put a hat, kind of, you know, if you're going to enjoy the sun, do all those things. Uh, you know, uh, if not, stay away from the sun. Okay, so when the winter ha happens, the rain comes, you want to be prepared, right? So get an umbrella, get a jacket if it's cold, right? So I'm being kind of, uh, not condescending, but uh, rudimentary because I'm point being is be prepared. If the rain's coming, get an umbrella, right? Get a jacket. If it's cold, right, jacket. If it's going to be sunny, 
Uh, maybe an umbrella too, a hat, sunblock, right? Sunscreen. Um, for life, what do you want to do? You want to be prepared. One of the ways to be prepared is to uh, take care of your emotional, your mental health, and your physical health, right? Because when those, so if you're, you have a strong body and the viruses come, your body will be that much able, more, um, more equipped to handle viruses, to ward them off, or, or the virus not to hit so deeply. So that's a virus, right? So your body's strong. If your body's weak, the virus hits you, it'll really take a toll on you, right? The virus of life, right? So I kind of, um, kind of a meta, met, uh, metaphor for life. So if the events of life, the uh, challenges of life come, and you're weak, oh, it may fold you. It may beat you up, right? But if you're strong, emotionally, mentally, and physically, and the viruses of life, a.k.a. Um, um, the uh, events, the challenges of life, if you're strong, then what do you do? Your mind, your emotions, your body's strong, and that wave hits you of the, the challenges of life. You're that much more equipped to handle it. You may not be able to ward it off totally, but it's going to help you fight and uh, overcome the challenges of life if you're strong emotionally, mentally, physically. So I just really want to bring that point home, not trying to be repetitive here, but really some people don't get it. They really don't get it. So if you plan for those events, because they're coming, whether we like it or not, change is going to happen. It's inevitable. It's automatic. But let's change us. Don't wish things are, don't wish things were easier. Wish that we were better, better equipped, right? So to take on the challenges of life, we can do this, guys. We can do this together. Together forward, guys. Kind of the Boston theme. Take it over the top, guys. Have a great week. Enjoy life. And life is a marathon, not a 10K. Because I was listening to that song, uh, Despacito, by Luis Fonsi and Daddy Yankee. Despacito. Uh, slowly, right? You take life. Because life's a marathon. You don't want to burn out too easily. It's not a 10K. It's a marathon. It's long, hopefully, right? So... Uh, take it slowly and also pasito pasito right so you want to take it step by step and slowly pasito pasito is that you uh, step by step and despacito slowly step by step slowly because you want to enjoy all that life has to offer guys and be around other people that think the same way because that's going to lift you up when you kind of get that challenge and the challenge of life emotionally mentally physically and you got really good positive people inspirational people people that are that you can count on that's the people you want. If you got other people that are kind of bringing you down, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta push them away. You gotta set those boundaries, guys. Enjoy your life. I go on and on. I'm so happy, so thankful, and uh, have a great week, guys. Bye bye.